What's the problem? I hate pieces of wood and I hate you. <laughs> Logs, look. Kapow. So our kids can do that now. Great. <laughs> it's gonna go. What? I think it's just gonna go, isn't it? Well, hold it then. Whoa. Welcome to the littlest chateau. Built in the 18th century on the top of a valley overlooking a small village in the southwest of France. This is Paul and I'm Helen and with our two children and three cats we moved to France in the middle of the chaos of 2020 to follow our dream of living in a French chateau. Come join us at the start of our journey as we share the beauty of this forgotten building and follow our progress as we restore it back to what it once was. So we're back. The weather has finally calmed down and it is a beautiful day. So we're here to carry on the swing and slide set. So this is where we're at. We've got a trailer full of chipped up tree that used to sit here. The trailer is currently sitting on the uh, grave site of the tree, which we're going to dump to the back, I think, so that we can clear this site of the trailer and start to get some rocks in to make a nice flat base for actually starting to build the swing set itself. Just getting the digger ready over here, doing greasing or something, I don't know, some technical thing. Hark, it's the sound of a power tool. You see a pair of these just lying around. They're here. Oh good. Okay. <laughs> uh, another point of interest is I think we might need to be a little bit more careful when we're doing our strimming. Uh, I mean, look at the blades. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. They're a little bit bent. They are. Uh, this is basically like a, a sort of plant tickler. But I've, I've managed to uncover some rocks over there. Uh, over there, okay. Yeah, so. Oh, well, I went on a big adventure all the way up there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I went completely the wrong way. Okay. It's a bit crystal maze, isn't it? Aztec zone. Yeah. Uh, okay, we didn't need that. Oh, these! Right. Yeah. Obviously, this is from some. Uh, I think it's part of this. They rebuilt this wall. Uh, this used to be something different, and the rocks are just sort of laying around here. But they're um, sizable. Oh, that one's not too bad. Okay. If they're movable by hand. It's okay. There's quite a lot of them. I think we're good because you can move them. I might get the wheelbarrow though. The wheelbarrow. <laughs> through this jungle. We'll get the wheelbarrow to do the short journey from here to there because the digger can't reach. And you don't want Just to lug chuck them by hand. Chuck them down the hill. Chuck one now, not no, onto I, the, I strimmer. the strimmer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. So what we're going to do is try and roll as per Helen's lovely suggestion, just Throw. Chuck, them, <laughs> chuck them over the edge and see if that's any cop. Hoof it. Glasses are going to go for six. I can see it. It that works. works. Uh, 
makes sense that the tunnel that we of jungle that we've come through is rather narrow and small. We need to make it a little bit bigger so we can get the trailer and the digger um, down into here. That's a shame. <laughs> it makes quite a cute arch. Not if the digger's got to get in here, it doesn't. Oh! What? Just... <laughs> Access is important, otherwise we You're can't the do anything. Destroyer of worlds. I know. <sighs> Sorry, tree. Even though you're probably a weed. You got no qualms about cutting that other one down, but you're quite happy to. I do. did not cut that other one down, <laughs> so don't give me that. We all know where I wanted the kids think. <laughs> oh, we've got some, uh, we've got some danger sort of Indiana Jones vine spiky things hanging down here. The brambles, I have no qualms about kicking down. Oh, I see. Speciesist. Yep. <laughs> it's not too bad a job. Well, we can see where we're going now, hopefully. We've got a little apple bounty here. Loads and loads and loads and loads of little apples coming through. I've got beasts all over my head from the swimming. Uh, okay, so we got the, uh, the diggers in place. My lovely wife unit is doing the hard work as usual. We're just going to dump all these wood chippings out over here uh, for now. You suck. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Ascension in the ranks. <laughs> Get shoveling. <laughs> So yeah, once we've got this trailer uh, empty, then we can take it through the jungle and uh, fill up that trailer with stones. And then I'm going to sort of stick them in the ground in this um, the, the patch that we sort of semi-leveled behind me there, uh, so that it's a bit stay more stable and build a little wall around it. But yeah, rocks, they're going over there somewhere at some point in the digger, which is coming this way to come and collect them in the first place. Personally, I think it's just an excuse for Paul to drive around in the digger and just have a bit of a laugh. But apparently we need them. I will trust his judgment. Neither of us have built climbing frames or swing sets for kids before, but I mean, what could go wrong? <laughs> Three weeks of rain, we're uh, doing it again. Oh, I'll tell you what could go wrong. He could crash into my apple tree pretty significantly. My apples! I mean, seriously. You just order these things from some random website, they get shipped over from China, and apparently you don't need a driving test, and you can immediately get in them and crash into apple trees that are actually producing quite a lot of little baby apples. Not on, digger sellers, not on. Ready for what must be like, Stage 16 of building a swing set. It says, it says on the box, takes four hours for two adults to build. But I mean, it's taken about, I, I hesitate to really guess how long it's taken. I think. I don't like that angle very much. Oh dear, no. I think you'll be all right. Just don't crash into this pole. This is our electric cable into the house. So yeah, don't, don't nail that that would be bad that's not that is not a thing <laughs> yeah that isn't gonna work oh dear huh? oh dear i can't hear you okay you're an idiot wheelbarrow oh okay <laughs> well you can just leave <laughs> whatever probably people who know what they're doing with these things would do some clever engineering or something but we didn't do that so apparently it's over to plan b but i mean probably it's going to involve me doing all the physical labor i just wanted to see what was going on over here because the trailer was looking like it was seriously tipping and i guess this is the ground is seriously unlevel which is a bit of a problem 
I'm not going to level this out. <laughs> what we're going to have to do is get the wheelbarrow, you know, mm. and uh, <laughs> wheel the stones to the trailer. I'll set the trailer here. Get it as far as load, can. Yeah. yeah. So we can't get the trailer down to where the rocks are all the way. So the option two is bring a wheelbarrow down to where the rocks are and then wheel them to the trailer. But we can't get the wheelbarrow down to where the rocks are either because it doesn't fit through our pool house corridor. So uh, we're going to do this. <laughs> Uh, moving these rocks that you probably can't even see because they're so kind of covered in lichen and nettles and things down into that wheelbarrow, which is down on the pathway. Don't, oh my goodness. I was <laughs> going to say, don't pick them up because you're going to knack yourself. Onto our nice level trailer, which has no danger <laughs> of just all rolling over the edge of this sort of six foot high drop there. So for breakfast today, if I can get the bread out, there we go. We're having tuna and cheese toasties, which is dead simple. Really easy to make, really, really tasty. What type of food is it? What? <laughs> <laughs> you... It's a tuna toasty. <laughs> Would you say it's a street food? <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, I'm buttering the bread. I found the best way is to follow um, what I think is probably quite an Americanized way of doing it. I think this is how um, a lot of delis and so on would do their toasties and their grilled cheese sandwiches, which is butter what will become the outside of the bread. You'll see in a minute when it goes in the pan. And I also use a little bit of oil in there as well to get a really, really nice crisp outside on the bread. So it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of like a fried sandwich almost. It's tuna in water, which is described as au naturel, which I assume is in spring water. So I tend to add to it a little bit of vinegar, just because to give it a little bit of extra kick. How much mayo have you put in there? And probably I used the fork to measure this mayo out today. I did a couple of really good heaped forkfuls. I'm going to grate to the side a mix of cheddar and parmesan because tuna toasties work, re any toasties, work really, really well with cheese in as well. And a few days ago, I went to one of our local markets and I got a really, really good Parmesan. So I'm going to use a little bit of that in there as well, just for a bit of flavour difference. So now we've got our component ingredients ready, it is time to cook. In the pan, I have got a little blob of olive oil, probably about, I would say that's probably about a tablespoon's worth of olive oil. I didn't measure it out. I would always err on the side of caution with toasties and actually turn the gas right down so that they don't catch and stick and burn. The butter side that I did is going to go down into the pan and the filling will go into the dry side of the toasty so that it gets a nice crisp sort of crunchy almost fry on it. I then add next into that my tuna mix. Just spread it all out to the edges. And then add in a really good heap on the top 
of that cheddar -y parmesan mix. There we go. And lastly, again, butter side up, because when these flip over, the butter side is going to go down onto the base of the pan. If you've got quite a hot pan for them to go into, they're probably almost ready to turn straight away. And you can see that's already getting a nice golden sort of crunchy outer layer on the bread. Now it is just a case of waiting for them to kind of warm through and melt the cheese. I'd probably cook them for about five, 10 minutes and flip them relatively regularly each side. So these have been cooking for about 10 minutes, I would say. I turn them one more time and you can see now the color that I was going for, that really nice kind of goldeny brown on the top of the bread. And you can see some gooey cheese that has just started melting through. Gooey cheese, always a winner. This is the bit where I don't want all the filling to uh, disappear out of the toasty. Critical serving moment. So here we go. I will cut one open. I like to have mine with a blob of tomato ketchup on the side to dip in. But if you have a look at this, you can see all of that gooey cheese in there and the tuna. It'd be really, really good. I, uh, <laughs> I can't wait to have my first bite, so I'm just going to go in for it. Mm. Good stuff. <laughs> Oh my god, that's heavy now. <laughs> oh. Okay. Enjoy. Thanks. This is the air hockey method of loading a trailer with rocks. <laughs> oh, the beasts. There's so many beasts. So uh, we have completed a sort of partial load of the trailer because a i don't know how much weight that has and i don't know if it's going to be over the limit of the trailer and b it's heavy and difficult so we're going to see how this goes and then maybe try and find a source of rocks that's a little bit nearer the place there sorry please yes. okay please okay so the digger and the rocks have arrived at the uh, site of the swing so given our history with trailers i think we're going to chock the wheels first before we do anything more okay, <laughs> <laughs> it's really heavy is it is it too I'm big i'm so tired oh, dear. i can't work in these conditions <laughs> So we came inside to the delights of our basement because actually we needed, we realised, a really truly flat surface to measure this crossbar onto to make sure that it is 100% accurate before we start adding swings and slides to it and find out that they don't fit. Another reason that we're inside is because there's power in here rather than 200 metres down in the middle of a field. Yeah, if we hadn't have drilled this first, what would have happened is it would have just cracked it over time, split the wood. <laughs> uh, like that? Yes. Last one. 
is getting done up for this crossbar section. And then we're going to have to put the A-frame bit together. So it's the next day and we're going to start putting up the swing set proper now. We've got all of our poles there that you can see behind me. We brought it up to the house because we needed a flat area to build it, um, otherwise it would have all been wonky. Moving it back down to the swing set site may be a little bit tricky once it's built, given the chasm that lies in the way. There's several piles of rubble and a mighty chasm in the way, which is going to need to be traversed to get down to the swing site, which is in that sort of, uh, just between those trees over there. Do you know, I think we can ignore it. I don't think we should ignore it. I think we can. <laughs> just ignore the instructions. And I don't see why these hooks would need to be in place before the legs are done. You, think... you don't see, but perhaps the people that made the swing set see. Next step is hanging hooks for swings. So first hook in. Oh, I think we're going to have some kind of early success here. Got my washer, got my nut. Oh, now, which way round do nuts go? <laughs> <laughs> the blue bit is, is sort of facing away. At the top? Yeah. Like that, okay. <laughs> I said I'd have early success and I was wrong. Oh, are you sure it should face away? Yes. I can't do that up any further. You'll need some spannery job. Okay. And I think you've done it wrong already, haven't you? In what way? Well, have a look at the picture that you carefully pointed out to me how not to do it. Yeah, okay, look, okay. The hook has to be like that. Oh, no, you're right. Ha! 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 Hook two. This is easy. I don't know why anyone ever complains about DIY. <laughs> Last one. <laughs> why has this got a washer here and none of the others have? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, undo that. <laughs> Should we try that again? <laughs> Is it straight? That doesn't look straight to me in your left hand. I think it's straight. Okay. Straight-ish. <laughs> uh -huh. And now the legs. This, this again looks easy. I think the hard bit was putting the main crossbar together. Six legs into six holes, what could go wrong? So there's been some discussion about how exactly to make sure that we're measuring everything square here. Uh, let's get an update from Helen. I've got to go and get bits of wood from down there that make the flat platform for the slide, which I asked Paul to go and get five, ten minutes ago. There's nine of them. And he said, I've brought three up because it's all I could be bothered to carry. It's enough. That's all we need. So I'm going to go down there, get the bits of wood we need and do things properly. Properly. <laughs> Why didn't you do it like that in the first place? Because I sent you down thinking you could follow simple instructions. <laughs> I'm following my own set of instructions. Uh-huh. So there we go. <laughs> Hopefully now things will go a little bit better once we've got everything square. Here she comes. I bet she's going to complain about doing the manual labour again. It's simply not true. So you've got all the pieces. Yeah. Yes, I do. <laughs> Nine bits of board, not three. <laughs> not three. Like that. What are you drawing there? The centery bit for these long slatty things that make this square in theory. Long we, slatty things. <laughs> that it seems like a good idea to do before we start drilling permanent holes up in the, the top piece is of the mm. A-frame. I mean, that's not the order it wants us to do it in, but it's, okay. It isn't, but logic dictates that this has to happen like this. 
logic? Would that be the same logic that said go and get all nine boards and the long bit that so that we can measure everything? That was Helen logic. This is Paul logic. They're quite different. What are you doing now? I'm doing it again. Why? Because you didn't tell me it was supposed to be on the inside of the leg, not the outside. <laughs> Maybe we could have had this done if you'd have gone and got all the bits to begin with. Maybe you can just shut up. <laughs> Consider it payback. <laughs> Man and tape measure as one. Okay, so I've changed the drill bit size, so hopefully the wood won't crack this time. <laughs> Right. Not going to do the other two? Oh, I might as well do the other two. I might as well do the other two. <laughs> Get head out the way. Last hole. Let's hope you measured it right, huh? Yeah. Oh, oh. Get that round on the right side. So this is why we're doing this now. If you come and have a look over here. By doing this now, it means that when we drill the holes up, up here, for Everything. these pieces, okay. at least these are gonna be the same distance apart on these two um, pieces of the A-frame. What's the problem? <laughs> I hate pieces of wood and I hate you. <laughs> and I hope you fall over that rock. <laughs> Charming. <laughs> I'm going to do this because one of us needs to know what we're doing at least. And it's me, not you. <laughs> There's still a lot of play in this axis, so you're going to have to hold it for me while I drill it. Uh huh. And call it done. Call it done, it'll be fine. Yeah. Do it on the night. <laughs> Do it right now. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to do them up tight because once we get it down to the actual site, it's probably going to adjust. So there we go. That's done. Way. I think now we have to move it. Oh my goodness, have you seen the size of it? <laughs> yeah, and the it's distance. It's massive. And it's got to go down there. Far, far away down there. All the way over there. At least you've got something to hold on to. I've got nothing here. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, it's too heavy to move. Get the other side up. Oh dear, that's painful. Ugh, you try doing this. Right, okay. Mm. There we go. Stop. Set it down. <laughs> How are we going to get it across this chasm? Oh, that's going to be the fun we bit, isn't it? We haven't planned this very well, have we? What about sort of rolling it? Not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll just roll it down the hill. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. Lift wait. it the way I'm lifting, look. I'm going to lift it how I like to lift it. Do you want to come down this end? This is the heavier end. <laughs> You completely <laughs> suck. This okay. is tricky. Hup. Okay. I really am so happy that I'm doing this over a mountain. That's it. Now we'll just rotate the whole thing. Wait, 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 wait. Let yep, me okay. get uh, you get yourself safe. Let and me then get tell a me footing. when you're ready. There we go. Oh, I didn't like the sound of that. Pivot on that thing that we're lifting now, so you want to lift the other end? <laughs> Pivot. Yeah. <laughs> you were never a friend's view, were you? No. Ugh. What am I doing here? Oh, okay, I see. That's it. More. I'm back up on the cliffs of doom, though. That's it. Okay. Farewell, Hedge. Well, well, well. What are you? What are you doing? I've got it. You've got it. Yeah. 
Can you maybe go over the gap though? <laughs> well, I'll just fly. Go on then. <laughs> Tell me what's looking good on bad because I can't see. Okay, uh, bad, 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 bad. So we're going to tilt. We're going to try tilting the whole thing towards you. I'd like you to be on the other side of it. There. Okay. Right, wait, I'm not anywhere near ready, mentally or physically, for this. And you're just doing it, are you? So I'm going to come a bit back this way to just adjust the roll, the angle that it's going to rotate on. What so, am I doing? What am I doing at this point? Just, just cut, you you know, we... Uh, I don't know! No, I don't know! Do you know? No! Thing. This is going to go. What? I think it's just going to go, isn't it? Well, hold it then! Stop being a all your life! Whoa! <laughs> Do you want to go back a bit so you've got some manoeuvrability? And some space? Yeah, but I haven't because there's rocks everywhere. Sorry. Lift it from the lower bit, it'll be easier, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Down. Down, 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 down. Oh! Now we can roll it. Can we? It's just going to go straight into that bush, isn't it? It doesn't matter. Well, it does, because it'll get stuck. That's a thick bush. <laughs> You're a thick bush. Shut your face. What's your proposal? Because I don't understand it. We're just going to roll it that way. Pivot it on this. Roll it that way. Okay. Let's do it then. Whoa. Hold it. <laughs> well, it rolled. <laughs> it really did. And the tree, the, the thick bush saved it. <laughs> where, where are you going with it? I Don't just, just grab it and gonna, walk. It's going to come to me. To me. <laughs> All right. Battery chuckle. We need to go this way. <laughs> Well, you're pulling it that way. You've basically got the whole thing. There we go. Okay. Um, as you can see behind me, the A-frame is sort of dry assembled and it's standing where it should um, stand finally. Uh, so the next step is to anchor it into the ground and uh, what they supplied it with to anchor into the ground are these sort of straps that you bolt through the legs. I say bolt, it's more like a screw, it isn't very sturdy looking and then you concrete it this end into the ground which again there's only a tiny little tab there to stop it coming out and I really don't like the idea of that or to be honest, the idea of using more concrete because it's not that great for the environment. So instead we've got another plan. And the other plan involves the rocks that you can see behind me. So this is what they were gonna have you use. Instead, what I'm gonna do is with this eye hook, which is a bit more sturdy looking than their um, little screw bolt that they gave us with. Um, I'm gonna drill through these rocks, uh, put this coach bolt through the rock um, screw this eyelet into the wood and then just bolt it down. Uh, so what I've got now is a new hilariously long drill bit um, but it shouldn't be blunted uh, and I have my lovely wife unit he's going to be a uh, drill cooler downer. <laughs> With WD-40? WD-40. Now Again. It's smoking. It's <laughs> flammable, so that's great. Oh, good. <laughs> Blimey. We're okay, so we're at the swing set site. Uh, the rocks have been dr drilled. Uh, and so now we're just going to move the A-frame out of the way so that I can um, dig some holes with the digger to put the rocks into.
The digger might make um, too big of an irregular hole, so we're just going to try and do it by hand. Uh, what we've really forgotten to do, though, is to mark where the holes should have been put. Uh, luckily, have. there's a little indent sort of left uh, from where the poles were sitting, so hopefully <laughs> yeah, we'll use them. Get an ineffectual stick. <laughs> or get an in yeah, <laughs> Just like our Pythagoras. Oh, my God. Where was it? Here. I reckon, yeah. Roughly there. Let's say roughly. They're big stones. Where am I going to put this, eh? Stick it in the middle for now. We've got one of the rocks that I drilled in place. There it is in the ground with its um, bolt. It's a little bit wonky, but that's not going anywhere. And we're going to, the idea is then drill this into the side and see how we get on. This shovel's ridiculous. Use the other one then, look. There's one there. <laughs> And what will you be doing? Filming you using it. We've just seen something and heard something very exciting. We've been waiting for this for a little while now. The uh, farmer is finally here to cut the field. It is so overgrown, it's crazy. We're very excited. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. There's a tractor and I'm very excited. Oh, okay, I got a little bit uh, sort of impatient digging these holes by hand, so I decided to use the digger, and I think I've gone a little bit overboard. Yeah, I think he might have. <laughs> mm. yeah, a in, little um... bit overboard there. That's a bit minimal, though, I have to say, darling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in uh, contrast. <laughs> okay, so we've got the rocks in the ground. Uh, now comes the very difficult part of uh, trying to get it level. Because uh, after we very carefully levelled the ground, of course, now that these rocks are in and we had to dig holes for them, all that levelling is sort of kaput. Look at that. It's level. Hmm. It's pretty much right. So that's, pretty, uh, that's a miracle, basically. <laughs> <laughs> we're good with the levelling. <laughs> levelling. That's what we're doing. OK, so uh, now we're going to drill the securing holes for these um, uh, pins. So now that's done up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, come on, you so and so. And of course the bolt can't drop through because the thing, the coach bolt thing no, can't drop through. No, and then that's through. not going anywhere. And, uh, what we're going to do now is just um, bury the rocks. So uh, off you go, you <laughs> slave. <laughs> 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 She's all mucky. We pray. You've been adventuring. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so at what stage are we? <gasps> we're in. We're in the ground. I'll let you focus on that in a minute. But we're in the ground. We are stable, I think. Um, and we are about, you can tell me if this is wrong, we're about to build the rest of it. There's one, two, I just need to adjust the heights. Is swing number one. Hey. Okay. <laughs> so it is the moment of truth. Does this slide fit relatively, <laughs> relatively reasonably into here? Now, I don't know how this fits. The instructions are a bit unclear. Like that? Uh, well, well, hello. <laughs> um, well, hello. What are we doing today? Well, hello. Well, today is about day 38 of swing set and we are putting up the last bit of it. I just went and got it from um, where we'd put it under a tarp and the tarp had pulled away from it so it was sitting in full sun. And these bits of metal that make it up are almost impossible to hold. So I've moved them over here to the shade, but they are really, really warm. No, oh, no. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> so just while Helen's um, arranging bolts into the correct size order on the ground over here. 
I thought I'd just mention briefly that we really, really need a cordless drill because the extension lead that we've got running all the, there's three daisy chain extension leads now. It's, they're so far away you can't even see them on the ground, all the way to the house, which is all the way through the trees over there somewhere in the distance. Bomb. <laughs> cool. And so now... It's the foot plate. They've got that bit uh, scene from Planet of the Ewoks or whatever it was. Planet of the Ewoks. Empire, <laughs> <laughs> Empire Strikes Back where the Ewoks... Uh, Ewoks. <laughs> Ewoks. Ewok. Yeah, Ewoks. Ewoks. That's what they're called. Ewoks. When they crush the... The walker thing with the, um, the logs, look. Kapow. So our kids can do that now. Great. So it's day 10 million. Uh, and now we have the uh, swing set assembled. The official part of the build is over. And we now enter the part of the build that's unencumbered by any sense of how we're supposed to do the things that we have to do next. <laughs> so... That was a big sentence for a morning. <laughs> Here is our wall. <laughs> Some assembly required. We've never done anything like this before, so uh, it's bound to go perfectly. Whoa. <laughs> I'll fall down the uh, hidden Not hole. The there we go. Okay, so what we're going to do now, I think, is um, dig a little uh, trench and make sure this edge is straight so we can put the foundation stones in into the ground. Okay, so the bank is now um, at a slope. There's no rocks for the kids to fall on. Uh, so now we're gonna uh, mulch, put the mulch that we gathered earlier um, over the top so they've got something soft to land on and so it doesn't all get weedy. And then we're never building anything like this ever again. Agreed. <laughs> Here's your mulch stick. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, that was so difficult. <laughs> okay. But, where have you gone? No, I'm here. I don't want to be in the shot. I'm oh, so you're, hot. You're, it's too late. <laughs> Goodbye. No, come back. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> we oh. have built one swing set. It is finally done. Oh my goodness. Never again. God, it's taken so long. There it is in all its glory. The mulch is down. The rockery is up. <laughs> Uh, in all honesty, we needed a bit more. Uh, we need a bit more mulch, but we can do that. We have a wood chipper. Yeah. But they have something soft to land on. It isn't going to grow with weeds, hopefully, and they won't crack their heads open <laughs> on the bank over here anymore, just by the steps there, because it's not rocks. It's a nice soft cushion of mulch, and it's a graduated slope. <laughs> hopefully, nettles won't come through. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we don't have any net nettles coming through. 
Uh, there we go. Where are you going? Entirely different landing. Oh, stop following me around. <laughs> I'm so hot. Yeah, stay here. And I'm so sweaty. Leave How me did alone. you enjoy this experience <laughs> well, of building your of, swing set? On a scale of one to five. <laughs> on any scale. <laughs> It was a miserable experience. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is DIY. <laughs> okay, if you like this video, please like and subscribe so we can keep on making these things. But please, I'm not going to do another one of these. <laughs> Don't make me do another swing set. I'd like our next video to be us relaxing by the pool. If you'd like to see that, like and subscribe now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>